negative um, yeah I think I'm correct that's going to be negative 0 0.0025 0 .0 yeah so now we have been able to find we've been able to find that so we've been able to find our k to be equal to negative 0 0.025 but our aim is not to find k our aim is to find the time when the temperature reaches 90 degrees centigrade so let me push this up a little bit so what we have is so i want to rewrite this here as so we have t equals 100 minus 80 e to the power k our k now is negative 0 0.025 times times t so we want to find the one for for 90 so when t equals 90 90 degrees so we have 100 minus 80 e to the power negative 0 0.025 Two five t. So we call it like terms. This one comes here. You have negative ten equals minus eighty e to the power negative zero point zero two five t. So when you divide both sides by negative eighty, you have zero point one two five equals e to the power negative zero point zero two five t. This is what you get. And then you take the natural logarithms of both sides. So taking natural logarithms, you have ln of 0 0.125 because natural logarithm of this is going to give us minus 0 0.025t. 0 so therefore, our t, so for our t is going to be ln of 0. 125 divided by negative 0 0.0 0 0.025 and then when you find that you're going to have um, your answer to be 83 83.16 so this is the time it's going to take for for the bar to reach um, 90 degrees at this rate and then it goes on for that to ask again it says how long will it take the bar to reach 98 degrees centigrade to reach 98 degrees centigrade we're still going to use the same the same uh, the same solution we had here so i'm still going to be using 100 minus 80 so still using 100 so i'm still using this here So it says, how long will it take? So this time around, our t is 98. So we have 98 equals 100 minus 80 e to the power negative 0 0.025 t. So we want to find t. So when you create like terms, you have 98 minus 100, which is negative 2, equals minus 80 e to the power negative 0 0.025t so to find t we first divide both sides by negative 80 so when you divide both sides by negative 80 this one goes off so you have divided by negative 80 so what you then have is going to be e to the power negative 0 0.025t equals now negative 2 divided by negative 80 is 0 0.0 0 0.025 you can confirm this and then to find t we take the natural logarithm of both sides 0.25 t equals natural logarithm of 0 0.025 that's the lean of 0 0.025 and then from here we have t to be equal to the lane of 0 0.025 divided by 
negative 0 0.025 so and then when you do that your final answer for your t is going to be 147.58 7.58 so that is that is your solution so let's 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 go back and see all we did so far so good so initially we started with solving a problem to solve the problem we start by considering newton's law of heating that models the process and then from there we obtained the general solution this was the general solution we got here now from the general solution we would find b so when we found b they were given some extra conditions and then the extra condition was the instantaneous rate of change of temperature of the metal bar so with that information i was given i was able to find to find k this was the value of k that i obtained and then there i used it to find the question which we are told to find an answer to and then the other question here and that's and then the other one the other one here and that actually completes the problem